I was never a fan of the Ultimate Warrior. You have to understand that I started watching wrestling full time around 97. And so uh, the only thing I really saw of the Ultimate Warrior for a very long time was what he did in WCW, which wasn't anything to write home about. Um, he and the WWE were on bad terms, so they never really showed much of him. Uh, I saw the self-destruction of the Ultimate Warrior, which I thought was a very good DVD, regardless of people retracting it now and so on and so forth. I do believe a lot of those things were uh, true. I, I do believe he rubbed a lot, a lot of people the wrong way. Even though he says he's very nice to everyone, uh, certainly, I mean, let's not beat around the bush here. Let's let's be truthful. The guy was on steroids, and who's to say that he knew how he acted every minute of the day? Who says that he was completely in control of his emotions? I highly doubt it, and I don't want to speculate, but certainly one could believe that. The years of steroids uh, could have factored into what happened. Maybe not. I don't know for sure. Autopsy going to come later. Um, but I was just, I, I mean, it, it never reached that level to me. He wasn't my hero. And um, I know a lot of people are listening to this and, and you know, emotions run high. And they're probably... You know, looking at me like I'm very insensitive, but I told you before that it, it got to me. And the reason it got to me was not because of necessarily who he was or because he was my hero or anything like that. It was it was what I saw at the Hall of Fame. And now everybody that knows me knows that the Hall of Fame to me means nothing. Um, but I'm glad that fans got a chance to have some closure, uh, before he, he passed away. But what got me was that, and I didn't know this really before, but what got me was that he has two young daughters and it was obvious that he loved them and that he was very proud of them. He was very proud to be their father. And as a father myself, I can relate to that. As a parent, you think about that kind of thing from time to time. What if something were to happen to me? What if something were to happen to my wife? And it's not a very happy thought. It's not a very pleasant thought. And I try to keep it out of my mind for the most part. Because you can drive yourself crazy thinking about such a thing like that. Well, it's reality now for this family. For Warriors family, it's a reality. Two daughters, father is gone. A wife, her husband is gone. And I don't know how their life has been up to this point. But certainly it was starting to get on a, a a very high stage with re-signing a contract with the WWE. Warrior is going to be in, in, in a much bigger spotlight. Uh, money was going to be coming in that uh, maybe extra money. I don't know. Again, financials, I don't know. So I can't delve into that. But I would imagine what was happening with the Ultimate Warrior was a very positive thing for his family. And I'm sure that everyone was quite happy. It's a very special moment, even though, again, like I said, I'm not a fan of the Hall of Fame. It's still a very special moment, if for nothing else, the fact that the Ultimate Warrior and the WWE had buried the hatchet. And we knew this We knew this before. They made action figures, and uh, they've been working on this DVD, and uh, he, he promoted the WWE 2K14 video game, so on and so forth. So it wasn't necessarily that... 
it was him being honored at the Hall of Fame. It was more so that a, a grudge that had been lasting for a very long time, very similar to Bret Hart, had been kind of swept under the rug. And uh, and and thing, uh, thing, I think I guess all things were forgiven. I would I would assume, but that's what gets me about it is the fact that he left a family behind.